Hello folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to our Rookie to Champion Adventure on World Snooker Championship 2004. Today it's time for the 12th instalment in this adventure and today we play the next four frames in our British Open match against David York. You all remember last time out that of course we played the first two frames in the game against David York after being beaten in Darren Mor uh, by Darren Morgan even in the LG Cup uh, quarter final. Then of course we had to play two quad loss fires for this. And then we played the first two frames this match. But uh, in the third frame, David York has broke. So we're just going to try and play a safety shot here. A decent break. Hasn't left any pots on. But at the same time, he didn't leave a snooker. So hopefully, um, it's not a disastrous start. And we don't pop the cue ball. But it's probably a little bit hard, that was. But I don't think we leave a particular pot on. Unless you can get past the, the blue. Which is going to be quite tricky to do here. So I doubt you can do that. In uh, my list of excuses, we started with a cold, however, the other week. Um, I have got a blocked ear at the moment, so if my audio levels are a bit all over the place in terms choice. of I'm shouting a bit more or something, it's just because I haven't really got that, uh, not coordination, but I haven't really got that uh, balance so much with this blocked ear to make sure that uh, my audio levels are sensible. So if I shout a bit more than I did previously, I apologise for that. But uh, David York has really left a pot on there. Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Oh, thank God for that red. One. I was going to say thank God for that red. Are we on on the black? We're going to be lucky if we are. No, we're not on the black. Well, we hit that red way too hard. Nice pot into the middle pocket, but we hit it way too hard. And I said, thank God for this red because it stopped us getting into this pocket. But that block's getting any pot now, um, even the black. So we're just going to nest a little behind the black, I think, here. We haven't really got much more that we can do in this state. Uh, there is a possible pot on this red into the middle pocket, but it's going to be quite tight. So we're just going to nest a little behind the black. Uh, a little bit of a poor strategy at the start of this frame but at least we get the first points that's something i guess here, that was a decent shot actually behind carrier. the black but we'll just play this safe hopefully it's a ball carrier after we played our first his safety shot though i have to say that david york didn't play a very good safety shot of his own and to be fair there it's a half decent safety shot but there is it's a tough pot like but there is a pot on here you know hmm do we go for it and try the only risk is if we don't pot it we don't we break the reds up and we can't uh take the advantage we're going to go and try and do it so we're going to try and pot it that looks about right to me and if it misses it'll be quite close but it's a risk and possibly it's a risk that is worth taking although we are um, level with David York and it was a risk worth taking in that instance because we have broken up the reds to some extent and we have now got a pot on the pink into the middle pocket which make sure we can get it yep yeah, we can nice and soft here nothing ridiculous have we got a pot after that hmm not really, we might have to hit this a little bit harder just to get a bit of screw back. No, I'd rather get the pot, to be honest, than focus on position. So we're just going to hit it nice and uh, straight. In fact, putting it up the table might be the best thing to do to try and get it back uh, down to the reds. But we can get the pot here, it's another six points. And I think, uh, based off our aiming angle, that is exactly what we've got. And that's quite nice. And luckily, as it hits the green, um, it makes these pack of, this pack of reds look a little bit more appealing. I can't see Although there's nothing here. on here, as Dennis says, really, there. There's that red, which might well go. Hmm. We can potentially leave the cue ball safe as well if we go for this. So it's probably worth doing. Sometimes it drops, sometimes it won't. Sometimes we don't hit it hard enough and sometimes it won't go in. Uh, but on that occasion, it's dropped. And we've left the cue ball safe at the reds. But actually, there's a nice pot on this blue here now. So this, uh, this game is starting to look good, this frame is. So that's all positive. Now, we're going to just belt this and just try and get it into the pack a little bit. A little bit of side spin. No, we're not going to bother with side spin. Because the physics on this game with side spin are very weird. But that's the hardest of pots. It's pretty much straight into the pocket. Oh, and nice to be quite honest, pot. we did nothing there to put uh, to clear the pack of reds. And now we've got a bit of a problem uh, in that nothing really goes here. Unless we go into the other pocket, which is going to be a tight one. But I think we can. I think we can do it. Can we do it? Or are we letting uh, David York back in? I'm not particularly sure. I mean, that's quite close. So I think we'll take the opportunity here. If he doesn't go in and we lose this flame, uh, this, this frame, it's all down to me. And yeah, it's just about miss. That's unfortunate. But luckily, um, the black is, an, is... Well, he just opposes that red, even though there is a red past the black. But somehow he's missed that. Amazing. Oh, it's doing this stupid thing with controller like it does every episode. I think if we just pause it, that might... No, that doesn't make the difference. Although I think it has actually, so that's all right. Uh, but if we can actually figure out how to stop moving the spin. 
Oh, I hate this controller sometimes. It might be a glitch with the game, because I think this has happened with several controllers. Right, we're okay now. So that will definitely go in. Uh, we can use that pot to try. And, uh, so, oh, it's happened again. Right, let's do the uh, usual thing we do every episode. Take the uh, controller out. Put it back in. Beautiful thing with wired controllers. And uh, has that made the difference? No, it hasn't. Well, I don't know what's happened there, then. Uh, this is a bit odd, isn't it? That should be fine now. Right, better top on this one. Just make sure we can get it into the pack. And this should be a dead cert for a pot. I don't know how on earth David York missed that, but it gives us a little bit of confidence that, to be fair, we should be all right. And once again, we haven't done anything to break the pack of reds up there, so that was a disaster. Uh, but there's a tight pot on the brown here. Oh, it's very tight, but it should go. We should be okay, and that gives us another four points here at least in this frame. Is it going to go? It absolutely does drop. It's a little bit fortunate, I'll give it that. But we've got disposition now on a red. Pretty much, well, it's not straight. Need a little bit of angle needed going to the bottom pocket. But once again, quite a hard shot needed just to get it back up the table where it's required. But this is a good start to the frame. It's not been a 20 break, but uh, we've got 20 without reply. Oh, well, I thought we'd got 20 without reply. Like it was just too hard, that was. There is a plant on here, though, for David York. That's unfortunate. We'd had a good start to the frame, although I'm not sure what he's doing. Perhaps the plant's not on, then. But he's, he's potted that one instead. Wow. Fair enough. The brown is lined up We'd had a good sleep. start to the frame as well. And this, which is a pivotal frame, you know, it's one each. So whoever can get wow. this frame has the lead and has the momentum going into the fourth frame. But David Jork is going to be at the table for a little bit now, and he does get the chance to correct his previous misdemeanor when he had a shot through. Few, let's be fair, shocking safety shots, the mediocre at best. And that red that he didn't pot, and he's going to try and punish us now for missing this red, which he should pot here, because that's the easiest pot on, which he's going to try and do. There you go, it's in the pocket. Black should go from here. Could get quite a good break going here. He certainly does. He breaks up the reds again. This could be quite a long one, so we might skip the AI shot. In fact, let's not, because he might miss a shot at some point. He'll, he'll pot that. Now it's this red that might be a bit harder for him. Let's have a look. What's he going to do here? He's going to play a safety, isn't he? Yeah. Interesting. Well, that's the end of uh, David York's break, but he's reduced our lead uh, from the 19, and he's now ahead by 10. Well, they reckon we might play shots enough, but we're going to go for the similar pot that we did before, just so we can make sure in our heart of hearts to know that we can pot these and once again we've missed it hmm well that was daft to say the least although he hasn't done a very good job here can he get onto the pink no he's gonna oh he's gonna try the black of course there's room for the black it's a tight pot but i reckon he'll do it no he's gonna go play the safety and it's a half decent safety i'll give him that in all fairness to him although this uh, tough red on. You could argue we shouldn't really be going for the tough pots in this frame now because we've missed a few of them. But a tough pot could put us back into the frame. And that is exactly, even though it was a tough pot and it did shot. bounce off both of the jaws of the pocket, but we've got it and we're nicely onto the black now. Which is encouraging. Get, a, get off the two cushions, hopefully into good position for the red. Black's pot, down. Not that? great position on the red, but it's potable. Or is it? It's not. It's not, is it? Ooh. Let's go for it. Soft is the best policy here. It's going to be a tight one. It might be further away than we think. It's massively further away. Where's the cue ball? We're quite lucky with that. I don't know what on earth we did there. Just a lapse in concentration. We thought we were on the red and we weren't, but luckily we haven't left any pots available for him, unless you can see something here. He's played the safety though. Ooh, cue ball was close there. The now we've got to play something similar now. Area. And try and get it back up to the bulk area. It's quite nice, all the reds are sort of in the middle, so it doesn't leave any pots, but oh my goodness me. Wow, that was lucky. We did not intend to do that in any way, shape, or form. I mean, look at all the spectators. There's about 10 of them there. But that was complete luck. But sometimes that's just what you need. And that is a brilliant pot. Now, the blue doesn't go because we hit that too hard. 
So we are going to have to compensate here by getting the yellow. But we want to make sure that um, after that brilliant pot that we do get back onto um, a red. I just want to make sure we don't pop this into the middle pocket because that would be really stupid considering that we're uh, going to be able to weekly it up here as we pop the yellow. We ha Oh, it's close okay. to the middle pocket, but we're okay. And as now. I just said, and as John has just confirmed, the scores are now equal. Right, let's get this. Oh, does this go? No, it doesn't. That won't pass those. We don't. I don't think we've got a pot on here. Once again, it might just be worth... Uh, we're certainly not going to pot this one, no way. But it might just certainly be worth trying to play a safety shot. There's no way that's going to go in. And that is a pretty good safety. Right back up to the bulk cushion. This fray has been a bit of an interesting one. It's been tight. I'll give him that. Oh, very similar well, safety. And what a snooker that is from, da this. from David. Brilliant. Hmm. Is it going to have to be the free cushion escape? No, I think we're going to be okay. As long as we don't hit the pink, which is what we usually do. But I'm not very good at escaping these snookers, although on that occasion we've done okay. And to be fair, we haven't left, left a pot on, so we've done very well you there. Be able to play a good safety shot here. Yeah, safety shot, as Dennis says. Unless he sees something more than we do. Yep, yeah, just a safety. And quite a poor safety at that. The pot's on. The pot's on here. And because the pot's on, we want to make sure we actually uh, we pot it. Oh, that was a little bit too hard. A little bit too hard to get back on the black, that is, but... As long as we get the ball in, which we have, that's fine. One, and actually, we're quite well on the today. pink, so that's a bit of luck. Quite nicely Position on the pink. The pink could help things here. Bit of screw. Get back onto a red, hopefully. Let's have a look. Brilliant. Good stuff. Although, a little bit too hard, probably. We can potentially get this red that's along the cushion that we've just hit into the pocket, cushion, but again, it's one of them that position. sometimes requires a bit of luck and gravity just to just to come into your favour. But with this, we pull out an eight-point lead if we can get it, of course. Can we? No, it hasn't dropped. Disappoint. Oh, it has. I didn't think it would, but it's dropped. There's a good shot on the blue here. Now, there's a good shot on the blue, as Dennis has just highlighted, but it's a tricky one. But let's see if we can get it. Not the nicest shots to play, these aren't really. Once again, a bit of luck involved, but we got some luck with the last shot, so whether our luck has ran out, or whether it's vice versa, and we've got some good luck in this game, that is a question. But, to be fair, we were Very right in the heart of the pocket indeed. there, so we've done well. Good stuff. Now, this red on the cushion again. Let's see if we can do the same that we did last time. Requires a little bit more angle this time. And it's probably a little bit of an easier pop, but we can't let that put us off. But I think it's going to be tight, this is. Let's have a look. We don't like that pocket at all today, do we? We really don't. Usually we love this pocket, but today we've missed three reds that have gone into there, and hopefully this, does, hopefully this doesn't mean that uh, David Jorg gets the frame, because that would be really upsetting considering the good work we've done in the last few balls. But it's a good shot onto the black. Get this red, and then he's onto the colours. Oh, he's missed the black. Oh, you jammy so-and-so. We're just going to have to nestle it up to the red, because... I can't think of what else to do here. He's not going to be able to pot it because, unbelievably, the black's there. There's no way he's going to go for it, surely. What has he done here? Well, there's no pot on, but no, I have no idea what he's done here. here. Or, unless we can get a pot. I know we hate this pocket so far, but we're going to go for it. And if we can't get it, we're going to hit it up the table just to hope that uh, we can get it safe. But... It incorporates both sort of shots, and I know it would probably be better if it was softer. Yeah, it's nowhere near the pocket. And I think I we've think left it safe because the blue. This. Yeah, it's a good stew crutch leap. Ooh, but he's done equally as well there. Let's try and get a double. I don't think it's going to come off, and I think we've been a little bit stupid here. But sometimes you have to be. Sometimes you just have to be stupid to get lucky. No, we've just missed it. Although, again, it's been left safe. We've got really lucky. Or has it? He can get to it. It's not a, quite a snooker. But, uh, ooh, done well there, so you get the he's done well. The and that's a, that's a brilliant snooker. Because, ooh. Might be a case of coming down, down and up the table. But does that hit the red? Oh, this is a nasty snooker, this is. 
Really nasty. Because if we come off the side cushion... Ooh, how close do you want to get? Go on, go on. No. We've missed well, that. Yeah, no ball hit. And that was a Is he going to ask us to take it again? I don't think he will, because he'll go for this shot now. That was hard. That was a hard one to get out of. And we were so close there, I think. We were so narrowly close. And unfortunately, we conceded the foul. But there wasn't a lot we could do about that one. But with this, with this black, David York brings the scores level okay. again. That's a good that position on the black. The even. He could now, you've just got to watch, wait and see. Because if David York pocks the colours, then he is... Uh, going to be into the lead in 2-1. But he needs the green, the brown and the blue to win the frame from here. Green should be nice and easy. Away. Brown should. And to be fair, if he pots the brown, um, I don't see the blue being a particular issue. Yeah, brown's down. Blue will go down as well. well and uh, ball, David York's done a good job here, to be fair to him. Well, I think the frame Just unfortunate with a few shots, really, there. David Let's York did well. We missed replay. a red. We got the foul, of course. And, uh, yeah, it's just unfortunate, to be honest. We'll uh, I think he'll go for a try smoking. and get the double. Even though it's not going to work because the black's in the way. But does it really matter at this point? I don't think it does. Oh, go on. Off the cushion. This should give him plenty Yeah, let's of try confidence. and concede the frame now. Although he will try and play the pink and the black. See if he pops the pink. No, he's missed it. And we are going to concede the frame. And unfortunately, we're now 2 on down. But at the end of the day, you win some and you lose some. So, you know, it's one of those things. It was a tight frame in the end. Uh, David did a very good job of potting the colours. And now it's our turn, to, uh, our turn to break. And hopefully we can do a good job here. Just a little bit of side on that. Give it a good whack. And hopefully this will turn out well. We need to win this one, really. If we lose this frame, then the pressure's really on. Break, but a good break. A few reds that have gone out of the pack I don't particularly like, but because shot. the black's there, and because the colours um, are there, that makes sure that uh, he can't get to them. So it's not a snooker, but he can get to the pack of reds, and that's been well opened, and the cue ball was very nearly in the pocket there. Is here. there a way through to this red? There is. Well, well. Well, I'm going to try and play with all the top I can here just to get it back up the table. But for certain, this is going in the pocket. It's a bit risky, though, off this off the cushion. There we go. Exactly. That's what we wanted. And luckily, um, it came off the middle, the middle knuckle so that we can get a good position on the blue here, even though it's not that great, is it? Ooh, does that go into the middle? It should do, shouldn't it? You'd think. Although this is a risk. It's a real risk here in some... One we probably shouldn't be taking. No, we've missed it. Well, well. Oh, where's the green going? Oh, we're very lucky there. In fact, we're just very lucky in general. Although, there is a red that's on here. Two reds, in fact. He's gone for it, and he's missed it. By an absolute mile. Well, not sure what he tried there. But he tried it, and it didn't work. But this is the, uh, the red that's on now. So, we can take a two-point lead in this frame. Which is magnificent. Good start. Where's the cue ball? What no, it's fine. Pot. Well played. Green will go into the middle pocket as well. I would say the yellow would be and then we are here. on back onto the blue, uh, onto the red. Just a tap here. Hopefully that should be enough to get it to the pocket and to get good position on this red. I don't think it's going to be enough. No, we're all right. It's more than enough. And actually, oh. it, splits up, it splits up the pack of reds a little bit, which is quite nice. Although there's no easy pot here, just going to check we haven't got any. No, we haven't got any position on that. That should go okay. Again, not too hard here. Let's see. Does it go? We haven't liked that pocket That's today, good. but Let's in that occasion, it's it done up. well. Have we got an angle on the black? We most certainly have. But once again, not too hard. Although that could be seen as a little bit daft because. Uh, we might not get the position on the requisite red, well, but we've done well there. And because there is a red that's out of the pack, it's pretty much a direct hit into the middle through. pocket. And uh, with something that's not too hard, we can pick up another five points by potting the blue. Just got to consider after this blue, how do we break up the pack? Which I think is something we can do here. Got to make sure we get the pot though first. That's the most important thing. Yeah, I think the pot's on fine. 
Can't really break up the pack though here, so uh, it's a tricky shot. But the pot's the most important. We've got the pot. Have we broken up the pack at all? We haven't. 18. But amazingly, we've left a pot on. Brilliant. Get this in. And uh, play a little bit of screw back. And hopefully this should just belt into the reds. Or if not, the pink, which doesn't hurt. It gives us a good position on that pink. And there we go. That's done really well. Good stuff. 19. Not the I best position, the but uh, we've got position, position on the brown, though. Uh, just check there's nothing that highlights and jumps out on any of the other colours. The pink could be a possibility, but then again, it's a tricky one. Right, let's make sure we can pot this. Which I think we can. It's a tricky one, but it'll go. It is a tricky one, actually. It might not go. It has, though. Good stuff. Luckily, we haven't snookered ourselves. But is there a pot on that red that's... Uh, well, this red to be specific. There is. This looks good. Let's go for it. The reds are starting to develop a little bit more now, which is good. And with this red, I don't want to jinx it, though. We do take a 25-point lead in the frame. That pink looks the best shot. Next. Into the top pocket. I was going to say into the middle pocket, but to be honest, it's not really worth risking, I'd say. So we'll get the screw back on it. Hopefully it'll go into the top pocket quite nicely. And then we will be back on a red. But even if we're not back on a red, it gives us a good 30-point cushion, which we've That's got. Six more points good stuff. In the bag. Six more points in the bag. I wouldn't hold your horses just yet. We're not going to win this frame on this visit. I can tell you that now. But another point here. That's a nice and easy red. Let's just try and get a red, a black, and then the other red. Ooh, does this red interfere here? It does as well. Oh, dear. Right, the blue goes, doesn't it? So the blue goes. Might as well get some screw back on this. And then back into the pack. Five points is better than a smack in the face. 36. There we go. Back onto this red. Not perfectly, but it'll do. 36 breaks so far. Nothing ridiculously hard, but something that does get us back onto the black, hopefully. 38 points. This will put this up to. 37 point break. A little bit too much there. Does the pink go? We're getting very lucky with our position at the moment, so I must admit. Ooh, but this is tight. Do we go for... Mm, we're going to have to go for the pink. It's a bonkers shot because if it doesn't go, we just cannon back into the reds. But unfortunately, it's the only shot that's, that's uh, potable here. But you never know. We could pot it. It might come... Uh, to be a positive shot. So let's have a look. And it has. Unbelievable. Well, our luck's really in today. Is, ooh. Is our luck even in here? It is as well. This is amazing. This is the most luck I've had in a frame ever, I think. This will take the break up to 45. Oh, no, it won't. No, it won't. It he just hit the other red. Safety shot here. Luckily, though, I think everything's safe. And he's left it safe as well, hasn't he, I think? He has. Oh, lucky boy. Lucky boy. Try and hit this hard. But get it back up the table. Ooh, get back up, get back up. No, no. Oh, dear. We've let uh, David York get a route in now. What's he going for, though? Safety shot, it looks like, here. Well, he tried for the pot and didn't get it. That there was a very a weird one. A lot of reds to choose from, agreed, but nothing that's easy. This could be a pot. Again, it's a tough one. But we only need a few more balls. We need about 20 more points. We've won the frame and we've we've uh, we've dropped that. Silly. I mean, the black's not on now, but missed, amazingly, he's missed again. Well, we can't make it like we've missed again. We can't do that now. So, unfortunately, though, is there a pot on at all? Not an obvious one. Hmm. This is genuinely the best pot to play here, and I hate these shots. How bizarre. There's that many reds on the table, and that is the best one. And luckily, I think we're safe. I'd hesitate, but I think we are. He's trying to look around for a pot, he's David. 
a frustrating frame for him and in recent events a frustrating great frame shot, for us but what a pot that was great shot selection although it isn't the best position yellow is going for here well if he pops this that's going to be genius but he's surely not going for the pot is he no he mucked that one up right is there a better position here oh i don't think there is oh no no it's not going to go well 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 would you believe it safety shot required here then hit this with a lot of top hopefully miss those uh hopefully miss the pink and the red where's the cue ball where's the cue ball we're okay you get good position here there's the a pot on here apologies about that folks there was uh, someone at the door for some posts so I had to get that. But he's potted another red here. He's only his second Great point of the frame. The he's not had much and he's uh, Bob on here for a blue. Superb. Hmm. Seems a real shame this does that we started particularly well and now David York's back in it, but amazingly he's missed that. He's probably wow. for position on the yellow. Now, do we go for the tough long pot? I think we do. I know there's a red up here, but we can use that later on. Just trying to think some strategy here. There's been some real long frames this episode. There's nothing been quick. I think our 40-odd break was the best break of the game. And luckily, we're back on the blue. Okay but if we can get a few more balls now, the frame is our all ours. This blue will definitely go into the middle pocket unless something ridiculous happens. Oh, Ooh, we're very close, though, there. I didn't realise how close we'd be to the, uh, the, next shot could be the pocket. With the cue ball so close to the jaws. Now, we're 48 ahead with 59 available. So, again, luckily, here. we've got a red that will go here. That, that uh, went off the okay. ground a little bit there, didn't it? Blimey. Right, I think the yellow is the only ball we can really play here. And if we get the yellow, I think we should um, have the frame. Oh, we've missed it. Are we safe, though? No. There is a pot available, which he's going to try and go for, but I don't know quite what he's done there. 49 points ahead we are now, with 51 points available. Well. Try and get it up the other side of the table. He's got to pretty much pot everything on the table here to win the frame so we can't really go wrong and we're pretty much in the same position we were before which is a big advantage and I don't think he can play anything here he's going to have to look for the snooker to get back into this frame what's he going for here I'm not sure, I'm really not he should be able to find a safe area for the cue ball safe area for the cue ball here is uh, on the red which will be knocked into the pocket hopefully we can get this in, which we do. Brilliant. Oh, that was uh, we're 50, we're 50 ahead. We have 50 to play for. And surely the yellow makes sense here. That will uh, confirm the frame from our point of view. Nothing too hard. Just along the cushion. And it's in. It's Only dropped. Two points, Brilliant. They all count. Ooh, it's close, though. He can get good position here by taking the red near the pink. We can get the red near the pink, as it says. So 52 available. Uh, 52 Ahead with 43 available. Can we pop the red? No, we can't. That becomes our e that becomes our enemy once again, that pocket does. Four reds now today that's happened with. Uh, but David York can still get back into the frame with two snookers. So he well, needs that quite desperately. Although with an obvious colour on here, the black and the pink yeah, are out of play. Yeah, and that's why he's conceded enough. the frame, I think. So after two, we are equal and level pegging as we were at the start of the episode. Interesting game David York has given us here, you know. Might be the free frames today's episode. Just want to watch the time. Good break. Cue ball to Bork and not loosen the reds too much. Mm, interesting. Right, let's play. hopefully play a good safety shot here. After David York's break. In fact, it pretty much mirrors the uh, first break of David York. And that was quite the opposite to a good safety shot. We opened up the reds. I don't know what went wrong, went wrong there. And it could be a bit of a David York master, master class, master show here. A bit worrying about this. There is a hint of worry. Eight. Particularly as the reds are all broken up and developed. Mm. They're all in that same sort of cluster, but there's a few pots available, and that is not the best for us. Nine. Not at all. 
Now on the black, it's never a good place to be. Sixteen. And Shouldn't the black be can't be respotted because the red here. is uh, on the black spot. Another uh, point nice for him there. Pod. Pink might go. It's a tricky pot, but blue will definitely go. This next shot looks very difficult. Pink might go. The black might go, but actually the pink's a lot easier than it looks. There we go. It's in. Well, we could have really mucked up with his first safety shot, and David York could well polish up this frame and clean up. But he's missed that red. Goodness knows what he There's was no doing. Easy shot available here. There isn't an easy shot available here, I agree. But we're going to have to play for about the fifth time this episode. It's not worked yet, but surely it will this time. Uh, this red into, the, uh, into this pocket. Fingers crossed it works. Red on the cushion well, might be would you believe problem. it? We've missed it again. Unbelievable. Five times today. And that's where David George profited again there. there. Really frustrating now. Seems like we've lost all of our ability to pay that shot. I'm not sure why. And now he goes for the green. That's another three points. Four. Yeah, I think he requires a safety shot here. But I don't think he's on a red. I have got a nice latte being bought up. That's why I might have just cut the video there. Uh, a vanilla latte, which will probably help us help calm us down for some of these shots, but think, think finally here, we can get our first points on the board of the frame. Let's have a look. No, we've missed it. Oh, that was a mile off as well. God knows what we were doing there. And now York has an easy red. One. And I think it might just be David York's day, particularly with this frame. But this might go down to four each. Not a not a great safety shot, and when we were given the when we were given the chance, we missed that as well. And would you believe it? He hasn't left us with anything here. Now this isn't going into the pocket, is it? I'm just gonna have to belt this one. Hopefully, get it back up the table. The risk is that the red will come with it as well. Um, that is quite unbelievable. Well, he has proved he can make the difficult. One. I was worrying what I was well not worrying but I was wondering why that camera angle was there and why the what camera was focused on that pocket again. that was completely unintentional but we'll take it wow well is that uh, the bit of luck we need to start this frame I do wonder let's uh, pop the blue good That's shot good start. So how far can he go now we're this? sort of on this red but there is Probably this red, the red here as well which will go Can give that a belt because that will go into the rest of the reds. That's it, brilliant. Seven. Now we can go for the black. Now from we this point we should really clear up. From here. I think. I don't know. We probably won't clear clean up because we'll make a poor uh, positional shot. But because the reds are all scattered out now, there should really be a red um, for every shot. There's still plenty of reds available. This red will do here. I know that uh, there are plenty of other reds available. But this one seems sensible to get back onto the blue. It's all about uh, probabilities and making sure we can pop things rather than looking glamorous. But that was quite a poor positional shot. You I'm not going to lie. Although there is a shot on the green here. See, it's, it's all worked somewhat. But the long pots, any pot to be honest, into that pocket so far today has been my worst enemy. So can we actually pot now? No. Unbelievable. This is crazy. Six times it's just ricocheted off that bottom jaw. Oh, he's, he's, pot, he's potted the cue ball. Well, let's have a look what he's done here. He's used the rest. And uh, amazingly, oh, that's unfortunate. He's potted the cue ball and he could well have potted the brown there. Are we going to force him to continue or are we going to try and make something out of this? Right. That's got to go in, surely. Come on, get a pot. Into that pocket, and all be forgotten. That just is just quite unbelievable. I've never, I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Unbelievable. He's potted it as well. Well, he conceded the foul. We're sort of back in the frame. And now he's... 
he should pot the green, which we oh, made all the position okay for. Here. And the red that we missed. Deary me. He'll pot this red as well here. Nice Nicely broken up the black and the pink. Exactly but once again, there's not a shot on here. He'll put the cue ball because of these the two reds. Area. Yep, he's going to try for a safety. Oh, that's a good oh, snooker. He's doing well to get out of this. Well, this is going to be a foul because I don't think there's any way for us to get out of this. Hmm. If that hits there, I think it's going to hit the black. But we're going to have to try it. We might get a bit lucky. Luckily, we're, we're very lucky there, but has it left a pot on? No, it has, has it, it has actually. It's he that should middle be able pocket. to play a good safety shot here. But he reckons Dennis does anyway, that a safety shot might be the best here. Interesting. Maybe with the lead he's got, he wasn't confidently going for the pot. The the well, this is the shot we have played into the other pocket and hasn't worked. But it's worked once, once or twice into the, this pocket as I Hopefully it will again. Subtitle getting in the way there, but luckily it's dropped. Gravity taking over there. Great stuff. Now, I don't think the black's on. The uh, the red will stop that. Oh, no. Good stuff. Well, the black drop, though. We should have probably taken a little bit more time over that shot. Yeah, we definitely should have done. Well, that's for the first time in this frame that I can you say really that was my fault. Just rush in there. It wasn't the best position either, which we could have worked on, so we had an either element of, the, of the, the pop there, of the shot rather, but I don't know what he's done there. He's just ricocheted about six shots, so this is going to be an interesting shot here. Bit tricky. Ooh. I can hear a cough from the, from, the, uh, from the Brighton Arena, which doesn't help our confidence, but a good, a good pot there. Pink into the middle, or will the black say, so have something to say about that? No, the pink will go into the middle here. Play a bit of screw. Just so we can make sure we have got a position, to be fair. That's about right. If it doesn't go in, I'll be gutted. It hasn't. It's missed. Oh, to really it was a shocking position shot. as well. We're just really not playing at the moment, and he's missed that. I think he'd play a safety shot it's here. It's all unravelling here. It really is. Come on. Come on, Jonesy. This is going to be a crucial frame, and we've missed that. And I think well, David York will as well. It's just going to be a case of who can pop first. And uh, this will be a pivotal frame today. The episode will end with one of us in front. Who will it be? Well, David York plays the safety. It's not the best. There's a pot here. Even though we've gone for this every single time and missed. But our angles have been right. We've just bounced off that not bottom knuckle. So we have a little bit less power. Oh. A sensible shot here is the red and for the ones with to be less power, we got it wrong. Position. And he's potted it. Of course he has. Of course he has. And now David like York is going to have a 27 point lead, I would guess. And when he pots the red, uh, the frame will be over. Colours. It'll be 28 yeah, ahead. He can get this black. The red and take the frame. and uh, as it says, he takes the red, right. he takes the frame. Well, not the best episode today. Really not. Quite uh, quite uh, discouraging, actually. And uh, we're going to try and get this, this, uh, this yellow. We're just going to belt it, though, see what happens. But really unfortunate look. But not the best snooker from either player, so, you know, we're okay. We should have really gone for the snooker there, but instead we just belted it. And he'll pop this yellow, I would have thought. Yeah. Good, Good position on the green, which he'll pot. And oh dear. Oh, he won't pop the green. Okay. He had to use lots of screw back to make the position with no. the shot. What do we do here? We can pop the green. It looks like he might go for a snooker. There's a bit of an interesting opportunity with this uh, with this brown, you know. We'll definitely pop the green. We'll take that. Oh, that was a stunning. Now shot the brown. One to pull I want to try and nestle it into this uh, into here, which will happen. 
I don't know how he's going to... Well, I might have been silly well, here. He can't pop the this. Seat, no. And I don't quite know what he's going to do. He's going to try and touch the brown. Yes. And... Mm, some side on well. the cue ball there. That makes it slightly more... Di I don't quite know how we can benefit from this. So... Ooh, that won't go, so we're just going to hit it here. Ideally, we want to get up behind the, the pink, don't we? That wasn't too bad, even though it's not a snooker. We're getting somewhere. He's tried the snooker, though, hasn't he, there? He's tried it. It's not worked. But I still think this pink could... Uh, been a bit of an upset here so I'm just gonna whack it to be honest because sometimes whacking it can give you a bit of a good situation no not at all easy pop there and that yeah we sit down to where we should be we're just playing games now desperately trying to get some points and David Jorks missed that crazy played a poor shot there, played a poor shot there. we'll try and clean up here because sometimes something happens out of the blue uh, or it might just be out of the blue, literally, um, for us to win this frame, even though I doubt it at this point. Now, let's just nestle this up behind the, behind the blue. Let's see what David York does here. He might, he might pot it. I'm well, just interested to see what he can do. Okay, interesting. So we'll we'll pop the uh, we'll pop the blue because there's no point trying to get the snow chronic now. We've potted it. Five. Um, do we just yeah? We're just gonna pop the balls because we're not gonna get a snooker here. Try and course the uh, lowest uh, requisite. Well, the lowest points get requisite. What I'm on about. The lowest points like gap possible, and uh, at least then it, it increases our credibility a bit because the frame was only lost then by five points. But uh, it's we won the last frame, didn't we? So it's two one to David Jork That's today. David Jork is three two in the lead, and now in the next episode uh, we've got to win three out of the next four frames to make sure that we win this match. So if David Jork wins one in the next match, we need to win the other three. So a very exciting episode coming up. Um, Let's see that shot again on the Tuesday but I hope you guys will enjoy that and if you have enjoyed this episode make sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe for snooker content twice a week on the channel I've been TIJ Gaming and until the next time I'll see you guys later